But first, Johnny and Mark get into a fist fight during school. Don't do it! Let's rewind to 1960. Mark is upset because Johnny is copying his homework. A fight breaks out. Uncle! Johnny and Mark shake hands and end up mates. Friends? Friends. Best of friends. Oh. Stop looking at my test. I'm Fast forward to 2008. What? Huh? Johnny and Mark are still fighting. Tess, I told you, I'm oh, yeah. Now the attending teacher is not allowed to touch these students. He only has the power to verbally chastise them. The crowd are getting rowdy. When the students won't stop brawling, the frantic teacher calls the police. Mr. Police, you gotta get down here right now. I gotta fight. One of the Hurry students up. has a mobile phone with built in video camera. He records the whole incident. Fight, this fight, is fight, going fight, straight fight, to you, Jude. The police arrive. Fight, 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 fight. All right, all right, that's enough. Come on. That's enough, boys. And arrests Johnny and Mark. Come on, you're both under arrest for assault. They are charged with assault. Ray, suspended, both of you. In the aftermath, apprehended violence orders are taken out. Both boys are suspended, even though Johnny started it. Hey, this has turned into a very serious matter. Diversionary conferences and parent meetings are conducted. Video has come out on YouTube. We have to deal with that as the school is... Our next scenario. Meet troublemaking Jeffrey. He simply won't sit still in class, continually disrupting other What's students. That? No, up there. Now, in 1960, corporal punishment rules and the cane awaits Jeffrey. He is sent to the principal's office and given six of the best. <gasps> his hands still stinging, Jeff returns to class. He's learned his lesson, he sits still and doesn't disrupt the class again. Present day, with no cane, Jeffrey is sent to psychologists to test the distractive boy for attention deficit disorder. So, Jeffrey, how long can you stare at this pendulum? Diagnosed with ADD, Jeffrey is given huge doses of Ritalin. Do you always dream about girls? And is counselled ad nauseum. What's it like when you get bored? Bored? In class, he becomes zombie-like. He doesn't interact with the others and is constantly picked on. Sick of feeling so alienated and out of it, Jeff drops out of school. <laughs> Our next scenario sees young Billy caught stealing from the local store. I already got you, you little bugger. Give them to me. <laughs> Silly boy. Never, never. Back in 1960, and after finding out, Billy's father gives him a whipping with his belt. I told you not to steal. Never do it again. He then brings Billy to the shopkeeper to apologise. Now you'll apologise to Mr Thompson. Sorry, sir, for stealing your coat. It will never happen again, I promise. True to his word, Billy never breaks his promise. He grows up a normal boy. What's going on here? In 2008, a completely different outcome. Billy's dad is questioned by police. Oh, and I can't discipline my children anymore. There's no such thing as lawful chastisement. We're going to have to take you in. I can't believe this. And arrested for child abuse. Yeah, boy. Billy is removed to foster care and joins a gang. <laughs> Go, boys. We got Mark. Our final scenario sees Mark falling on the school steps during recess. Mark, are you OK? His teacher finds him crying and gives him a hug to comfort him. In 1960, Mark's teacher consoles him. Oh, there's Mark. Come on, let's go. He soon feels better and goes back to playing. In 2008, Another teacher sees what he thinks looks like inappropriate behaviour. I'm telling you, it's inappropriate behaviour. These are serious allegations, Ben. That well, other teacher, Ben, accuses Mark's teacher, Phil, of being a sexual predator. Touching of the thigh, touching of the upper leg, and he gives him a hug. Well, you know that we don't touch students these days. Look, Philip, there's been allegations made against you. The teacher is investigated, his reputation in tatters. Mark undergoes five years of therapy, while Phil faces three years in prison.